Hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com, and today I want to talk about how anxiety builds as you get closer to your scan days. But before I begin, hit subscribe below and hit the bell for notifications. I'm about three weeks away from my uh, next CT scan, and this is going to be about my nine, uh, right around my nine month time uh, since my transplant. And so this time leading up to my scan, really any scan, uh, really just starts to take hold and anxiety starts to creep in. Even a little bit of depression has has been floating around. Really just the difficulty of the reality of this side of cancer, right? There's a whole other side that no one talks about after cancer. Each one of us goes through it, our own issues, right? And uh, some people can relate, some people can't to those things. And that's what is so frustrating. And that's where there's been a really big lack of support for cancer patients and survivors is everything that goes on for them after. Now, I'm doing everything I can to really combat that. I've been talking to my uh, psychiatrist uh, you know, a couple times a month now, and it's been really, really good. And we're just weaving and you know, bobbing and weaving and whatever through through all the different challenges that keep coming up. And by talking with him, we are keeping you know, the momentum moving forward. And that's what has been good about really talking with a professional about everything going on. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm, as I'm looking at my calendar of about just uh, right about three weeks uh, from when I go in to have my scan. And I'm also going in for a bunch of other things as well. I'm also seeing an immunology and allergy expert Maybe maybe try to figure out a few other things that that have been going on, uh, just some weird little skin rashes that pop up here and there. Nothing nothing crazy, but maybe just try to figure out if I'm allergic to some stuff too, which would be really beneficial. Then I can you know have an idea of what to avoid. And then I'm also seeing a cardiac oncologist as well. This is going to be really really. Um, important for me because as I have been getting back into uh, my sport and really kind of starting to build on fitness and my health, I want to make sure that the pericarditis that I was dealing with after I got out within that 90 day time um, after transplant, that hopefully there wasn't some sort of extra damage that could potentially really change my entire lifestyle. There's a lot of things that are just from from the medical side of it that are building up and have caused my anxiety to just shoot through the roof. So with the cardiac oncologist and my CT scan and then the allergy appointment and then blood work, it's a pretty full day down in Denver which causes enough anxiety as well. And that is really the, the gist of you know, all these things. So with how my history has been in the past, nerves are just high because I haven't always received positive information. And I don't want to say that I'm not going to get positive information in this because I feel pretty good. I feel everything feels feels like it's going in the right direction just I don't want to jinx it I don't want to you know and so uh, that's that's kind of why I'm at that's why I'm feeling anxious just because of all this you know and there's a few other things I'm going to hit on in another video coming up just the difficulties of life after cancer as well and dealing with uh, not working and what that means financially moving forward as you are slowly running out of money as well. So, but anyway, that's <clears throat> that will be in the next video. Three weeks away, uh, anxiety is building, and that's just how it is. Uh, hit me in the comment section below if you can relate and let me know a little bit about your story. That'd be awesome. Um, otherwise, you know, I appreciate watching the video. Yeah, thank you guys, and I appreciate your time and energy, and I will see you on the next video.